looking now at headers and footers. Headers and footers can be a little bit complicated or not so much complicated, but a little bit tricky to understand. Remember when we're talking about headers and footers in this context, we're talking about the printout. When you put this on paper, what it's going to look like. To get there, we're going to go to our view tab and we're going to go to page layout. Here's our page layout. We have something called add headers and we have something add footers. Now, once you know how to add one of these, you can add the footers as well. So this stuff applies to the footers as well. Notice as I hover my cursor over here that it has three different compartments. It's broken up into three separate areas. You have your left, your center, and your right. And in each of these, you can add things. To see what we can add, we have to actually click inside the header. So I'm gonna click over here. And notice up here, something changed. The header and footer tool showed up. Let me click off. Now keep an eye up here. I'm clicking off now, and it disappeared. Again, keep an eye up here. I'm gonna click in the headers. Here we go, watch what happens. And the header and footer tools appear. So this is what we're looking for. I'm gonna click design. And from design, I'm given a whole lot of options of things I can put in here. So I can put in page numbers, I can put a number of pages, I can put current date, I can put time, I can put the file path where this worksheet or workbook resides on my computer. I can put in the file name. I can even put in pictures. So if I wanted a logo, if I wanted a business logo, I could put it in there as well. Let's just look at adding a page number, however. I've clicked in this box. That's why we're seeing all this. I'm gonna click page number. And there we go. We now have page numbers. It's that easy.